dealing with, they're dealing with the physical side and not the behavioral health side. And I believe that we've had uh, better provider retention and we use it as a re recruitment um, tool. Um, we do have National Health Service Corps providers, loan repayers. Um, that's been great. But we have seen as we start to interview providers here, if we tell them that we have integrated behavioral health, you can just see the light bulbs go off, and I think it's helped us recruit um, new providers. And with that, um, I think I've covered everything. Hi, Kathy. We can't hear you if you're trying to speak, so if you're having technical difficulty, we're going to turn over to uh, Laura Galbraith. All right. Thank you. We, um, we'll go ahead and over to our next presenter. Um, as you can see here with the bio that's on your screen, I'm Stephanie, the Director of Behavioral Health at Chase Brexton. Um, Stephanie, we look forward to hearing from you about your program and work with co-occurring disorders. Stephanie, if you're with us, if you can unmute your line. Hi, Laura. Do you want to move on to Carl, and we'll see if we can get Stephanie back? That'd be great. Thank you. We're going to come back to Jake Spruxton, um, and at this time we'll go to Carl Wilson from the Crider Center. Um, Carl, are you with us? Oh, certainly. Welcome. Um, as you can see here, Carl Wilson is um, the president and CEO of Crider Health Center, um, which started the community mental health center that um, it became a larger safety net community health and mental health. Um, and so we look forward to hearing more about your program. Uh, let me start just by, by giving a little environmental context, uh, ge geography. Uh, we're in the Collar counties around uh, St. Louis. Uh, we have a growing area. It's both a combination of a suburban, small town, and rural. Uh, we have within our four counties about 523,000 people. And of this, our target population are the 88,000 plus who are uninsured. Uh, so uh, we uh, have uh, uh, we have a total budget uh, this year that we just uh, uh, started. Uh, of $22.5 million. Of that, about $6.8 million is for our integrated uh, services. Uh, we have uh, our integrated strategy actually began about uh, five years ago. We looked 